Hi guys and welcome to another video. So I'm I'm recording now from my cell phone. So maybe the result uh, uh, is not the best. But uh, here we are uh, with the building of the Speedy. Uh, it's uh, the Depron uh, RC uh, racer. So yes, uh, here we are. Here we have uh, all the pieces. We have uh, the wings, uh, the two fuselage sides. Uh, the top and bottom of the fuselage and uh, the tail. Uh, here are the rudder and uh, the control surfaces. So the first thing we need to do is uh, to put the carbon spar here and uh, also into the wing. As you can see here, I've added uh, two spars uh, into the main wing. Uh, this spar uh, in front uh, it's optional, but uh, I highly recommend it because uh, it gives uh, the wing uh, uh, more strength. And uh, I've also added the rear spar into the elevator. So I always use um, Uhu Pour for gluing spars. I think it's uh, the best glue for this job. And um, because it remains flexible and uh, it uh, has a, a, a really good bond. The next step will be to sand all the leading and the trailing edge of the wing and the elevator. And also of the rudder. So I will uh, take uh, the caliper and uh, offset uh, the leading edge and trailing edge line and uh, then send it to to the middle of the of the airfoil and uh, yes so this will give us a, a better finish and um, a faster play Okay, so now that I have sanded uh, all the pieces, you can see the, the sanding line. Um, I will cover uh, the fuselage sides uh, and the wings, uh, also the tail, with the um, aura cover or uh, any heat shrink uh, covering film uh, will, uh, will work. And uh, yes, just uh, another thing for the sanding. I used uh, a P40 grit uh, sandpaper for the first passes and then uh, a sanding block with uh, uh, 120 grit just uh, for finishing uh, and uh, smoothing all, uh, all the, the sanding. So yes, now I'm going to cover all the pieces and uh, then I'm going to glue everything together. So just a quick tip for covering um, the apron with uh, uh, aura cover. So here you can see the yellow sign, it's uh, where I usually uh, get the iron to cover balsa or uh, wood or uh, every other material. And uh, here you can see uh, the line uh, where the, it's the temperature where I use uh, it to cover the apron. Because uh, if you uh, get it very hot, uh, you will melt it and you will ruin uh, all your work. So it's... Uh, yeah, on the on, on the medium, and um, uh, it's uh, it's better to do some tests uh, before covering uh, a plane uh, on to, onto some scratch pieces. Um, yes, as you can see, here are all the pieces uh, that are covered with uh, the foil, the film, covering film. I've uh, I've covered also making uh, the hinge for the control surfaces you can see they they can move also the ailerons and uh, now it's time to glue everything together so the first thing we need to do is to glue the tail section to the wing section of on the, the inside of the fuselage and uh, then uh, we will apply the sides uh, that are those pieces and uh, after that uh, we will um, uh, mount the servos and uh, then close it uh, from uh, the bottom plate that will be this plate and uh, the top plate and then uh, add the rudder so let's do it. okay as you can see here uh, i have glued uh, the side of the fuselage i also added uh, the servo the iron the aileron servo and the elevator servo now i'm going to connect uh, uh, them to the moving uh, the control surfaces and uh, then I'm going to close it 
Okay, so as you can see the mess uh, is taking over, but uh, I've connected the servo to the control surfaces for the aileron. I used uh, those uh, connections right here. I think they are uh, really good for this purpose because uh, you have uh, only one servo controlling uh, two ailerons and uh, these uh, make uh, a bit easier to connect them. I had to cut the fuselage just to make uh, the rod pass through it and uh, also for the elevator I've connected it using a carbon rod and steel wire to make the L joints for the servo. So now I'm going to cover it for the, the top and the bottom of the fuselage and um, after that I will install the ESC and the motor. Okay, so as you can see the plane is finished. I attach the, the tail. Um, after closing the fuselage, I have uh, cut it uh, with a, a little bit of angle on the, on the sides in order to make a, a little bit more smooth and uh, covered it uh, with another layer of um, heat shrink uh, film. I also added uh, the name of the plane on the wing. It's, it is nice. I've mounted the motor here. Here you can see I have uh, already twisted it with uh, two washers under it because uh, it will need some side thrust in order to go straight. And uh, yes, so everything is ready for the maiden.